What's going on, guys? Welcome back into Chandler County, and I cannot leave well enough alone. I cannot leave well enough alone. I have done... I've, uh, I've changed things up again. I know. I can't stop myself. But the result, I think, looks much better. So after the big widening on the last episode right there, I came back and I did a little bit different work on some of these areas and changed the median. I tried to make it look a little more natural, added a little more green into it like this. Fix this up. And then I discovered I was missing some roads from the pack. I was missing these two. These are what I was literally looking for. I was looking for these two lane. Where's some at that I can show you? Yeah, I was missing these two lanes with a grass median down the middle. And then what's really bothered me. And yes, this looks like this looks like garbage. Don't worry. This is not staying long. So here in America. Most of our roads, of course, we have a lot of roads everywhere. And a lot of our roads don't even have sidewalks, especially like highways going through a town like this. Now, if it gets into like a commercial district like this, yeah, something like this with, you know, the pavement on either side and sidewalks with a lot of businesses, you'll see that. But when you get away from that and it's literally just like, you know, the highway going through town with your shopping centers and stuff on the sides, it's typically grass. It's your two lanes on either side with a median down the middle. The median is either a continuous turning lane or it might be a grass median or something like that. But then on the sides, it's grass. And then the businesses and their parking lots sit beyond that grass strip. That's normally how it always is. Like there's are, there are exceptions and stuff. You know, big urban areas are different and everything. But at least here in the rural south, this is what you would normally see, and you wouldn't even actually see the sidewalk. You would just see the planting, the grass strip, and then parking lots. But I, I fiddled around with this in the asset editor. I couldn't get it to look like I wanted it to, so uh, I may do. And I also had to do a little bit of work with the zoning adjuster, and I had to set the zoning back by three meters. Otherwise, these were overlapping with the grass and kind of looking weird. So it's getting there. And then I decided I did want the three lanes going through the main commercial heart. And luckily, these blend in okay. It's not perfect, but they do blend in rather okay. And it creates a third lane branching off. And it does end it in a relatively man in a manner that I am okay with. It ends it okay right there. And then it comes on up through here. We have our dedicated turning lanes going into the downtown square and off over onto this street. And then it continues on up here. And then it narrows back down to two lanes with a turning lane. Uh, ideally, what I would have liked was for the third lane to become a turning lane, but I couldn't. Uh, I, I couldn't get it to. I couldn't finagle it that hard. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't playing that nice with me. Um, only way I might be able to get it to do that is let's pause while I mess with this because we're about to mess it all up uh, is to grab this guy here then I do want to keep this turning lane right here yeah see it's just going to do that and that's not what I wanted it to do Okay, we're just going to have to leave it like this. Um, you know, th this is still pretty good. I'm still happy with this. Um, it's not perfect, but it works. I would rather have that third lane turn into the turning lane there, but it's not going to play nice back here. So uh, it, it, it is what it is. But, you know, we are trying to make the game. We are playing with stuff that normally wouldn't work this way. So we will just keep all of this going on forward and it's happy. So yeah, and this is kind of nice because this right here, apparently, so, and I don't know how I'm able to get it to do this. I'm still trying to figure out why it does this. But sometimes I come up with a dotted dash line instead of the uh, right turn only. So I can have my road come out through there. I don't know how I got it to do that. Um, it also did it right here and right here. It seems like if it's a road jutting into it if it does that but I, I i don't know for sure these roads are a little funky to play with but the overall effect is what i was looking for it gave me that 
a uh, nice two lane with some grass and I can have some trees in here. I'm going to redo the median trees uh, right here by downtown. I like it being a little more manicured and uniform, but coming out through here. And I, this is going to seem super boring. That's what it would be. Literally just a grass strip and actually it wouldn't even be flat. It's a ditch is what it turns out. It turns into. It's actually like a drainage ditch, so water would go down through there, so it's slightly shallower in the middle than on the edges. And there's usually, like, nothing. There's, there might be, like, a random tree that's grown up or something, you know? There might be, like, a couple of totally random trees growing in the middle of it, uh, just for absolutely no reason, and the city just kind of left them. It's very odd. We have some really odd. Okay, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything that big, but you know, you know what I'm trying to get at. You would just have some like oddball trees growing down through here, and it really wouldn't make any sense as to you know how they looked, because like I said, it's like it's more like the city just kind of left the trees in there and didn't bother to cut them cut them down. And so it might, you know, be something like that. Something completely random. It would make no sense. It would just be some random trees in there. Um, so I don't know yet. I, I got to figure out what I'm, how I'm going to handle the median. I had the plain trees there, but again, and I, I tried to make it more random down here. It still doesn't look the way I'm really wanting it to. So I don't know. We may take that out. Um, oh, you know what I could do, actually? And this is super American of me right here. Power lines. Power lines going right down the middle of the road. That is something I could see. Let's take the road guidelines off and the grid. And the road length. There we go. Yeah, now this... This is something I would see. Like that. That's actually legitimately perfect. <laughs> Power lines running down the median. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that is a thing that I would totally, uh, totally see. The, actually, fun fact, the highway that is by my house... And when I say highway, I'm not meaning like a high-speed... Um, freeway i'm just literally talking about like a uh, a highway like a local collector i guess you would call it in the terminology of the game uh before they made a continuous turning lane down the center so uh you know i think we we built one of those in the past it's this guy where's it at oh where are you i've got so many roads it's this guy right here so well, not with the trees on it, obviously, but you, you get what I'm saying. This is like what the highway near uh, next to my house looks like. It's two lanes on each side with just a long turning lane. And when you really look at it, it's so dystopian looking because it's just it's just asphalt for like ever on each side uh, going on forward uh, ahead of you. But before they paved that center and created that continuous turning lane, um, it was grass like this with the... Uh, turns and stuff going on to other roads. Uh, but it did have a... It just had the power lines going straight down the middle. That's where all the power lines were at. Were straight down the middle. And when they paved it, there was a massive project and they moved all the power lines off to the side. But for the time being, they were all right here in the center. So I think that's what we will do. And this is like the most unsafe place for a power line, right in the middle of that intersection. Um, but, you know... What are you going to do? you got to have a power line. So, yeah, I'm probably going to work on dragging some power lines down through the middle of town. Oh, that's totally what I'm going to do. I love that idea. I love it. I love it. I love it. See? See, you guys help me out. You don't... Y'all you, don't even realize how much you help me out, but y'all help me out so much. Because I can talk through what I'm doing and come up with all of these different ideas.
then I can connect him up uh, to this for the time being. Yeah, he can connect up to that. And that goes off to our um, our sub... Actually, our substation is up here. And our substation is going to get some uh, work done to it later. So, yeah, there we go. And power lines do typically, you know, they kind of veer off in odd directions depending on where they need to link up. So they're not always perfectly in a straight line. You know, they will they will fluctuate around. So lovely. So there go our awesome, awesome power lines. Very, very happy with that. Now, those are the suburban power lines. These are an old, old asset, but uh, very, very well, very heavily utilized by people uh, because you can drag them over top of things and they are fantastic. Turn collision off so should allow us to keep the power lines themselves. Yeah. Perfect. See? We'll go through and we'll drag power lines around just like in real America. Power lines literally everywhere. Just, just everywhere. We love our power lines. All right, so let's not work on that. Let's take a look and see what I've done. So we got the church fixed up. Uh, moved the church back up off the road a little bit and gave it a nice surrounded parking area. Nice and nice and freshly paved, too. Uh, we did have to tear it down and, you know, move it all. So we gave them a nice freshly paved parking lot and some new uh, greenery around it and shrubs and some uh, mulched beds. Came out very, very nice. I'm very happy with that. Of course, uh, most of the work, most of my work all day today has been on these roads, trying to play with them and figure them out. Um, I was very happy to find these suburban. Uh, they are called large suburban roads. I was very happy to find them and figure out how to incorporate them into the city. Uh, I think they just, I think they turned out just absolutely superb. I love the way they look. Um, over here, downtown has gotten, you know, small facelifts, obviously, as we had to go through there and redo it all. So the buildings are lining up very nice now. Uh, we still, we maintained our alley and I was able to get, you know, very narrow buildings put in here to keep our alleyway in the back. Over here, again, had to redo this to get ready for the alleyway, which I want to work on today and get this side done. And I think I'm crossing my fingers <laughs> That this will be the last thing that we have to do to the downtown area and we can uh, get out of here and move on to something else. But it's uh, it's taking a while because I keep having to adjust things. But now I think we're done. This road will never get changed. It's going to stay as it is for the rest of time. I am done upgrading it. This will be enough lanes to handle the amount of traffic coming through here. Our traffic right now is at about 80%. It's mostly just because of this, and this is always going to be super busy. It's always going to be busy. I don't, I can't do a lot about it. Now you're seeing some buildings red. That means they don't have enough parking, um, which is going to be alleviated once I get some parking built over here by this area and some other uh, parking ideas that I have going forward. So yeah, we're going good there. The only thing that's kind of scaring me is we are dropping population. If we take a look, 43%, 43% of our population are seniors right now. 17% uh, are children, though. So we are we do have a lot of children coming in to help replace all those seniors who are getting on up there. Um, 71 years in, and our average lifespan right now is for the uh, for the seniors. Our average lifespan is 83 years. So we've got about 10-ish years before we start seeing a massive die-off. So we're going to have to hope that we have enough young adults and kids coming up. Now, one thing I found out is this elder care building, It what it does is it obviously it does increase the health and lifespan of your elders. It will increase their lifespan. It's not necessarily, you don't have to necessarily have this thing, but it does help keep the, the seniors alive longer which has a uh, an impact on your income since your income is based on, you know, lots of different factors and of how people are shopping and things like that. So the more people you have shopping and seniors do a lot of shopping because they're not working. Uh, so it does help with your tax income. So it's something to keep in mind. All right. So I am ready to get some parking going on down here in this area. 
Um, I'm thinking. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's a much tighter space right here than it was right there. So let's get rid of him. I'm going to move you up here next to this. Then we're going to make sure that buildings are selected. Move the library up a little bit closer to town. Now this is going to be really, really tricky. This is the one I want right here. I want to change the sides to pavement. Okay, good. It already is. Just going to link it up. Take our nodes and segments. We're going to start manipulating this and kind of getting it. I want it stay straight. And if it overlaps a little bit, that's okay. I want to bring this up right to there. Right to there. Okay, so there's our alley for this area right here. That's going to be our alley. Um, now, what I want to see about doing is upgrading at least part of this in the middle to a parking area. Whoa. That might be too big. I might not be able to do it that large. Okay. Right, so that's... Oh, shoot. Back over there. So I, wa I want you there. I do want him crooked. Uh, he is... Crooked is okay with me on this. Pull that out a little bit. Pull that out a little bit. Okay. Now. Make sure my parking spaces are going to work. They will. Good. This is all turned on. I want to turn off that because I want to keep my uh, zoning on this right here for right now take away that. These, This is all hand placed, so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, let me go through here and figure out what kind of buildings I want to put in. Alright, so, got that. Got some floating cars. I'll have to fix those later. I was, I just wanted to make sure that my parking was going to work back there. But yeah, got that part done. I did try to make a bigger parking area back here, but it just, it just wasn't going to work for me. So I just gave up on it, and I went with a single thing of parking back there. Uh, we'll fill all this back here in with maybe some chain link fences and some, uh, you know, uh, decorate it up or something later. But, hey, we got some more parking now, so that helps. And this area back behind all of that is finally done. Finally done. Uh, what I do want to do is come through here and make sure that my speed limits are correct. Yeah, see, that's not supposed to be 30. That's supposed to be like 5. Because we want to discourage people from going in here. And I'm just going to completely turn off that. And then we're going to basically turn off everything except freight and trash. Freight and trash, basically. I just want them to stay right here. Yeah, I don't know. He's driving to a parking spot still. We we just we still don't have enough parking in this city. That's insane. That is insane. We still don't have enough parking. Uh, but we do have this side of the road over here that's got to be fixed up. I need to get this side done and get uh, some more parking back here. This is literally, I mean, I know it's atrocious looking. I mean, it's just massive parking spaces, but this is what American downtowns look like. It's just parking for days and days and days and days. It's insane. Now, part of that is because I am playing with the advanced parking uh, AI, which requires you to have a lot of parking. 
Uh, otherwise, they don't use the parking that much. I may try it without and see kind of just what it looks like, but I don't know that I'll like it. But I may give it a shot. All right, let's go over here and uh, let's play with this side of the road right here real quick. And I'll, I'll do this one live with you guys. How about that? We're going to take off the... Just so you can kind of see how it is I... What, what it is I'm doing, you know, and how I'm coming up with what I'm going to build here. I want him to move in back about here. I mean, turn this on. Where's he line up with basically the edge of it right there? Right about in there. Could just bring him back even further. Not, there's nothing that states that they have to be the same on each side. And now, you know, we're getting away from like the old part of downtown. So I could totally see like some more modern-ish looking buildings popping up. Uh, these, however, need to be by four. Yeah, they need to be a little bit bigger. So I could totally see some different buildings popping up down here. Not that big old hotel. That thing is hideous. And not that guy. But, you know, something like this, you know, where they, they may have torn down an old brick building and replaced it with a, something a little more modern. I've done something like that right here, actually, where I have a little bit more modern building amongst the brick. Uh, again, that's something that you would commonly see in the States. You know, older buildings that have been torn down and replaced with, you know, something new. That is definitely not unheard of. I... I really want to put this building in, but it is so blindingly white. Um, I get... Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to do this. Hold on. I want to use the Chirpex Cinema. However, the Chirpex Cinema by default is like... It hurts my eyes. It is so bright. But I think what I'm going to do... Make that historical, because I don't want to lose it. Because I like that building right there. It is, it is ungodly bright white. What I think I'll do is I will get the uh, the mod that lets you change the color of buildings. And we will uh, put something, put a different color. Just because it is such a cool looking building. And it totally fits this area. It totally fits this having, you know, a, a, a cinema in the downtown. I mean, that, that just fits to have something like this here. You got to have a cinema. But this cinema itself is um, a little on the bright side. Really bright. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try to change the color of it. Make it a little less obnoxious to look at, I think. Alright, so that just means we need a little something right here. In between there and there. And actually, I could move that back down. So let's see if I've got a little one by. Uh, I've just got a traditional storefront. That would be fine with me, actually. Go. Okay, let me uh, get the grid to turn off here now. It does a little bugging out. There we go. Chirpex Cinema. Super bright, but super awesome looking building. Okay, so there's that side done. And, you know, everything over here, I'm almost okay with, except for that. I'm not okay with that having come up. Let's see. Back here, let's maybe do a by two again. Eh, I don't really want the bookstore. Don't want that. I've already got one of those right there, or I would do it again. Just need, you know, some something small right here. Um, actually, this little auto shop would be a bad idea. Just plop right there. Little auto shop on the corner. That's that's reasonable. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm gonna try to get parking back here. I want to get a big parking lot right here, and it is going to be elevated way up above everything else, so it's going to look kind of crazy. Let's see what this thing looks like when it pops up. Does it have any sort of decoration around it, or is it just a 
flat, boring old building. I think it's just a flat, boring old building. It is. I can I can do a little bit with that. But that kind of gives it, you know, we're getting away from the nicer parts of downtown, you know, and it's kind of getting a little a, a little a little less nice and pretty. So, how am I going to do this up here? Well, I think the first thing is we're actually going to get rid of all of this. I know, I just did all this and I was so proud of myself. We're going to get rid of it. I'm just going to get rid of... Uh, are these props? No, they're not any props. Okay, good. Then we're going to get rid of him. And people love that. They love getting rid of parking. You know, you, trust me, you really don't like getting rid of parking. You just think you do. Now, we're going to come right here. Add in some parking right there. The nodes. I want them same height as this. Perfect. Alright. That thing might be a little bit longer than what I need it to be. Let me change that building out. Yeah, I can't go that far with it. Go right about here with it. Without it getting too weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something back here, don't worry. That's not gonna stay like that. I'm gonna be doing something back there with all that mess. Clean all that up. Pull the parking all the way this way. Those are a roll up doors, so that's supposed to be like a uh Supposed to be like a little entrance back there for it. Okay, I wonder how how crazy is this going to, to make it? Go down to that height with it. Don't get weird. This is gonna get real weird real quick. All right, let's, uh... Slope these objects right here down. Somehow. Ah, part of it is I have a massive node right there. Bring just everybody back in, square up the edges. That mostly took care of it. This one over here kind of crazy. Oh, not too bad. Just on a worse slope for some reason. Okay. Bring him to right there. That mostly gets him leveled up with the rest of the terrain. That's that's good. Road looks different. Uh, hide road signs, decoration. Just hide everything on this here. We don't want any of that signage popping up. Okay. Lovely. This is just, it's going to be a little a little persnickety here. Maybe add a node in right there. Bring this up to that level. Right there, maybe. Use this right here to get a much better slope. Yeah, I need to do it this way.
trying to get the right slope angle is uh, not always the best. And I can cover some of this up right here. So I'm not overly concerned. I wonder why that's not sloping at the same rate that is. That's kind of odd. Do it to that object height. Put you to that object height. Still not still not great. Better than it was though. Okay. I can live with this. Yeah, and I think he's a little bit too long. I have to replace him real quick. So something by three. I think I haven't used a whole lot. It would be nice. Used a lot of these many times. Wouldn't mind having something a little different. There we go. Use that Flagstaff Brewing Company. Okay. All right. Now comes the annoying part. Now I gotta try to connect all this right here up. I think I'm gonna stick with that rural road right there. Okay. Bring him down a little bit. Bring him up a little bit. Line these guys up with each other. Like so. Alright, let's do node controller. If we can't uh, square these ends up. Ah, come on now. That is far as it wants to go? It is. Interesting. Okay, well, we're just going to kind of hide part of it. There we go. Now that... That's a parking lot. Okay, let's see how terrible this is going to be to get parking in, because this might be absolutely awful to get parking in and they are going to float i probably do not need to use this big one right here because these guys are going to absolutely float like none other so we're gonna have to use lots of these little bitty ones I also have no idea where the traffic is going to go at in here, so we ought to turn the simulation on so I can see where traffic is going to be. Okay, so traffic's going to come right up through here. Could get a little bit more. Some right there. Okay, it's gonna be about as good as I can get with the parking. Um, I don't know if I can get these parking spaces to actually show, and if I can't, I'm not going to worry about it. I would like this not to overlap. Think about redrawing that. That just looks awful right there. That looks that just looks plum awful. Uh let's maybe change that to a different row type.
a little weird here. It does not like what I'm trying to do. That is for sure. Where are these edges up? Yeah, it does. It does not like what I'm trying to do right there at all. It is not appreciative of my attempts to uh, square these edges right here. So let's not push our luck. Maybe go like that with it. Bring him down to level him off a little bit. At all. Going to be super aggravating. Just going to be super aggravating right there. And it won't level off. That's fine. You know, I'm okay with little minor, minor things like that. I can, I can live with those. Side over here. that curve a little bit there bring him out to there uh, can I get a hold of this yes I can good bring him into there I can bring him in a little bit further I think oh dang it I can't select the stupid thing now can't select it I'll go back and I'll fool with that one here in a bit you know, I've got to select that one and Pull it back in, so I can't get perfectly square back here. Uh, it's really messing with the whole the whole thing, trying to square it up. So I'm not going to I'm not going to push my luck on it. But this is fine because it does give us a little bit of a you know some walkway everywhere. So it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, these right here, honestly, could probably just out a little bit. That way the building is not sitting right inside it. Like, yeah, something like that right there. I just have to come back through and uh, get rid of a handful of parking spaces, and that's fine. Something weird. There we go. Okay, got rid of that. Got rid of that little thing right there. So really now the only uh, issue is the um, this road slightly coming over top of it and it's gravel. Why is that being gravel? It's not supposed to be gravel. I was messing around with stuff and I done messed it all up. Okay, well, it's not too bad. We come over here and figure out why that is being like this. I mean, I know it's because it's overlapping, but I'm not going to sit there and fool with it too much. That is not fun stuff to watch on camera, but hey, we got the uh, we got some more parking back here, and that's that's the important part. We have this backside right here done. Uh, let me make sure all of this right here is turned off because I don't want any sort of any sort of uh, weird zoning anywhere else. These right here are fine. Yeah, that's not fine. I don't know what happened right there. That's gotten weird right there, too. I don't know why it's being weird right there. Oh, man. Back over here, I think we will just uh, from our own buildings. They're, they're having a lot of fun building tons of these breweries everywhere, and uh, there's more to life than breweries, guys. More to life than breweries everywhere. Let's find some good four-tile-wide, four-tile-long buildings.
Get rid of that one. You know what? I think some of these commercial warehouses back here would actually be um, be decent. This is kind of a back air back alley area, anyways. Need some a one tie a one by four. Like yes. Kind of already got something like that right there though. That'll work. That will work. Yeah, you can deal with this. Not bad at all. Oh, building tucked back in there. Alright, so, similar thing over here. We're just going to find a few uh, odd and end buildings. We'll put a uh, ready-to-roll over there, I think. Maybe a little building like that right there. Hey, that fills in this spot right here. Uh, the ready to roll. I will. We'll, I'll decorate that up later and make it look a little, a little nicer. I mean, it's already got some stuff, but you know, it could use a. Uh, you know what? I don't like it blocking off access to those buildings in the back. Pause you for a moment. Yeah, I don't like it at blocking access to that building. So maybe I just want something by two, like a three by two right here would be good. Uh, well, that, that, that right there would be okay. And then I think I've got some parking assets somewhere. Not that. Those things that... I know I've got some. It's just... Regular old ploppable parking. Just, I I, rare, I haven't used them in a while. Uh, there's one of them. Parking lot. There you are. Oh, it's a little bit bigger than I thought. Let's do this. No, don't destroy that. We'll put him right there. I guess we'll put him right there on the end. It's kind of defeating the purpose. I was wanting to get something that wasn't going to block the access to the back of that building right there. Yeah, I lied. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Okay. That functional parking ad again. This. going to be too wide? Slightly, yes. I don't want to go that big with it. So that was a uh, six parking space, functional parking. Yeah, let's do a... Th I hate that it does when it does that. Do a three punk functional parking. Okay, get our surface painter here. Paint all this in. All right, we're just gonna leave it just like that. We go back underneath here. Something by two that we can just plop in right there like that. Voila, there we go. 
They're floating a little bit back there. It's okay. Again, you know, we are not going to be on ground level staring at them too awful much. Well, there we go. It's that done. Oh, my little guy is absolutely floating up here. <laughs> a little, my little prop van that I put back there. All right, lovely. That takes care of that area. So that's, I mean, now we're really, we just have this strip right here. And the downtown is mostly done. My goodness. I thought that would never happen. Our little downtown square is finally going to be done. Is that is that the whole downtown square? It is. It is the downtown square. Finally be done. Uh, I'm going to pull downtown back over here to it. Downtown Square is kind of drifting off. All right, let's uh, pause for a moment. Let's go in here and we're going to get rid of all of this stuff. Make sure I don't destroy that road. That would be awful. De zone all of this. Well, this back here has got some wonky stuff going on with the. Uh, with everything. So I want to come in here and do get our slope tool out. Gotta fix that a little bit. It didn't do anything for it, unfortunately. I think it actually made it a little bit worse. Um, maybe get rid of some nodes. Let's get rid of that node. Can't get rid of that node because that's the one for this alley right here that I... <laughs> as, as odd as it sounds, I need that alley. Can we do anything about this, possibly? And that's going to help a little bit. That helped it some. I mean, it's a that is quite the step down right there. So above, although it didn't ruin that, didn't it? Yeah, it did ruin all of this right here, doing that. I'll fool with the alley later. Let's just get this part right here done. Okay, so... It's something to face along this road right here. Let's see if there's anything... Um, anything three on the front end. Look, I think, pretty decent. Or no, how about four on the front end? Anything with four on the front end? That would look okay. And some vanilla buildings will work for this. So yeah, something like that right there would be okay. Then... Everything over here is going to have to be four, at least four tiles onto the back side. Put a Burger King back here. This is like, this is absolutely not the place you would find a Burger King, though. So, uh, in case you weren't aware, you would never see a Burger King back there. That is the last place you would find a Burger King. Get this like little industrial shop back here. S -s Buildings like this, I think, would be good back here. More like warehousey type stuff. That would look really good back here. Maybe even this little guy right here, food stuff on the corner. Although, he may not have any decorations. King Leno uh, makes a lot of this different stuff that I've been using, but he doesn't decorate anything because he uh, 
he leaves it completely blank so you as the builder can decorate it and sometimes i just want everything to be decorated for me i think it's a, no it's got it's got parking spaces at least okay it does have parking spaces so that's something yeah it's got it's got a few little odd and end props so it's it's not it's okay King Leno, you have my apologies. Even though he, you know, he doesn't watch my channel or anything. Actually, I kind of like that a little bit better. I kind of like this right here a little bit better. That right there. I like that. I like that one. And we'll put in a few odd and end things like this. That'll be good. Then just a traditional storefront right here. Let's do another warehouse building. Eh, no. Not the bar. God, we have so many bars. Let's do that guy. And then something right here in between. I don't have anything. What three by fours do we have here? Oh yeah, we haven't used any of this stuff. Let's do that. I'm gonna have to probably move him around just a touch. Uh, I love it. I love having buildings that just run all the way to the back like this. It just fits so well. <laughs> all right. Just clip a little bit right there for us. Lovely. All right. Cool. I like it. I think... I am finally done with this stupid downtown. <laughs> I think we finally got the downtown done. At least the downtown square. We got the downtown square done. Um, wow, that took literally forever. I thought I would never get done with this thing. You know, there's a few odd and end things that we can put back in here. Uh, dumpsters. Dumpster props. They are floating. I will have to go and fix that. Why are you floating? I don't know, but you were. Up at the building. I just want the props. Set them back a little bit. Yeah. Now a few little odd and end props and stuff to go in the backside and clean everything up. But yeah. At long last, downtown Chandler is complete other than other than, i gotta recolor this guy he's he's blinding me it's so bright but yeah i am super happy with this i like it this looks so much like the downtown of the area that i lived in uh for a few years um and i think i may have said this but you know fun fact i would have lived right here uh, this window would have been my neighbor these two windows would have been mine and my apartment stretched almost the whole way back. Um, I had some country music singers actually lived in this building. Some uh, famous country music singers lived over in this building. I uh, met, met them a couple of times. Well, her a couple of times, rather. Pretty cool. But yeah, fun. I am very, very excited to finally have downtown complete. Uh, this guy right here. Get him... Get him rebuilt. Guess not right now. I thought there was a way to like automatically un like fix it up. But whatever, it's abandoned. It's not happy. But it's okay, because we've got everything done. I've got some detailing to do, you know, back over in here especially. Uh, it's looking a little boring back in there. 
But from that moment on, we're going to be able to move on to the rest of the city and get some population going. We need some residentials bad. We need population coming in really bad. Uh, I've got some really cool plans for up and down Bristol Highway. We're going to get rid of, you know, this sort of mess that the game likes to auto build. Uh, that looks hideous. Even if this was regular sidewalks, it would still just look hideous. So I've got some plans for these areas. I think it's going to look rather neat and I think you'll like what we're going to do and then we're going to be building some neighborhoods soon as well we're going to start expanding the city uh more up here towards the end of this square so i am looking forward to that and i was hoping to see something i fixed our trains um you may have heard some trains coming through i heard some trains while i was working on stuff uh, there's not many at the moment because, you know, there's no freight traffic, but the occasional train does run through. So I did fix our trains and I did it without having to use like the 81 tile unlock. Uh, what I did was I happened to have a I was testing a camera mod out and that camera mod actually unlocked the whole map to where you. Oh, there's one of our trains. And he's going off to the side of the map that I said was broken. So yeah, I used the camera mod uh, to test around on a few things with, and that camera mod happened to also give you free access to the whole map without unlocking squares. And when it did that, I was like, oh, I wonder if I can fix this. So I got another mod that allows you to call cross the line. It's an old, old mod, but it lets you build networks. You can't zone or build like buildings, but you can build networks. It's really helpful for like if, if like a highway connection is broken on the map or something's messed up like my case was. And so you can go off the outside the city boundaries and fix it. So I was able to go outside the city boundaries and fix our little issue. So I was very, very excited to be able to do that and get trains working in the city again. Uh, I've seen a few trains come barreling down through town. It's been really, really awesome. So, guys, with that, thank you so much for watching. Here's a lovely shot of downtown looking rather nice and filled in now. I'm super, super happy about it. Join me in the next episode. Until then, take care, guys.